In this episode, I'll show you how to make a motion detecting confetti popper to prank your friends on April Fools. Well, it's almost April Fools and I love a good prank. And I had these little champagne poppers left over from New Year's and I started thinking that these would make an excellent base for a great April Fools joke. Now as a disclaimer, these poppers have very, very tiny explosives in them, but you should still read the disclaimer on the packaging before you continue with this project. So we have the champagne popper, and now we need a way to remotely trigger it, preferably using motion detection, and also I'd like to be able to just use parts that you can find at your local store. The first thing that I noticed about these champagne poppers is that it actually takes a lot of force to pull the string. So to pull it, we're going to need something that can jerk it with enough force to pop it. When trying to think of ways of how to do that, I immediately thought of a mouse trap. We can attach the string to the catch bar and when the trap is sprung, it will jerk the string with plenty of force enough to pop it. So the next thing that we got to do in order for this to work is find a way to remotely spring the mouse trap whenever somebody walks into a room. I was having a really hard time trying to figure out how to do that whenever I found the answer in the most unlikely place, the air freshener aisle. This is a motion detecting air freshener that whenever it's turned on, this little arm goes down and then it goes up. And this will be perfect to spring the trap. Now we need a way to hold our project together. And what I did was I just grabbed an L bracket and fastened the mouse trap to the bottom of it and fastened the air freshener to the side of it. And the good thing about the L bracket is that at the top you have an extra hole and this is perfect for inserting our popper. The easiest way to set up the trap so that it'll spring is to tie a string from the air freshener arm to the snap plate. And all I did here was drill a hole in the air freshener arm and I threaded a string through this way because the air freshener arm pulls more up than it does down. I drilled a hole under the snap plate and threaded the string through it so that it pulls the snap plate directly down whenever it's triggered. I thought that tying the popper string to the catch bar would be the easiest step, but it actually proved to be the most difficult because you can only tie the string to the catch bar after the trap has been set. To remedy this, I thought of attaching a small binder clip to the catch bar and tying an S hook to the popper string so whenever the trap is set, you just need to hook the string to the binder clip. So now the trap is ready to be set. One flaw of the air freshener is that it resets every 30 minutes. So you may want to put the batteries in and let it cycle through once before setting the trap. Then you can set the trap and it'll be ready for movement. I hope that you guys have a happy and safe April Fool's Day. Be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.